Hey guys, Calico Critter World here. I know it's been a while, but uh, we are, have been in the middle of a very big move um, from one country to another. And uh, all our stuff was packed away, so it took months before it made it to um, the US and uh, until it was finally found in the boxes and whatnot and sorted out um, but we're back uh, but we do apologize for the extended break um, but we haven't forgotten about the giveaway guys I think we're up to about 11 subscribers which is a very big deal for us um, because this channel is just for fun it's something we just do for fun because um, we are just so in love with uh, the Calico Critter Sylvanian family um, toys. Um, but uh, what I wanted to tell you is that uh, the way we're running the giveaway is we're gonna choose, and actually we're not gonna choose. Um, on Google there is a random number generator and it chooses a random number. Uh, you just choose uh, whether you want 0 to 100, 0 to 200, whatever. So what we need you guys to do is to pick a number from 0 to 250, leave it in the comments. We'll leave that open for about a week and uh, on I guess until the midnight of the 5th of uh, October uh, here in the US. Um, about Pacific Standard Time and uh, on Saturday the 6th we'll go ahead and do that giveaway uh, we'll actually we'll take the random number generator being uh, being conducted and uh, so you guys can see for yourselves what number is uh, chosen whoever is to get to the closest of that number wins you will win um, a surprise gift um, so you've got about actually about nine days a little over a week um, to go ahead and get that number um, put into the comments and then on uh, Saturday we will do the giveaway which we're super excited about we have been waiting a long time <laughs> to give something away um, so please get that in there uh, we can't wait to do it um, so I did want to talk about um, I know you guys probably notice a difference in the voice <laughs> um, it's because uh, my daughter who this channel belongs to um, which she loves doing the unboxing um, but we've decided that she'll step down for a little bit um, so she can watch mommy do it she gets really nervous and uh, she's worried um, that maybe she's not doing a good job which I think she is doing a wonderful job um, but for now she she would like to watch from the sidelines and she will actually be doing um, she will begin doing like calico critter episodes um, if that makes any sense um, so she will be playing with them and whatnot and taping that um, but as far as the unboxing goes she wants me to handle that for now so I'm okay with that because I really do like actually I love calico critters so um, it's a great job I'd say so um, let's get started today we actually are doing the uh, village Piz pizzeria um, we got this one from Japan and uh, I'm going to do my very best to name some of the objects. I mean, they can't be that different than the U.S. and Italy, right? Um, so just bear with me, um, but let's, let's, let's take a look at this. I'm going to pass the camera over to um, my daughter here. All right. Sorry about that. So this is the Village Pizzeria. Looks like it came out in 2018, this year. 
In Japan, they don't call it calico critters. They call it Sylvanian families. It might be that way in some other countries as well. They're the exact same thing, just different names, same company. We got a lot of good stuff over here in Japan, living in Japan. Huh? So we brought a lot of that home. Here we have um, a small description of what's included in the box. And it looks like uh, you can change the layout to either exterior or interior, or maybe it's just showing a different angle. We'll have to look at that a little further. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. Here they have some uh, scenes. They've got a pizza being put into the oven, some dough being rolled out. She's even rolling it out at the counter. Or he, actually. Um, oh, it is the same person. Okay. Or same animal. Critter. And this little guy looks pretty uh, fascinated with the process, huh? And they're trying to decide what they want. And they're just enjoying themselves. Look at that pizza, that looks yummy. And here we have, they have it set up here with the grocery market. And they have it set up here with like within the houses or whatnot. I've never seen that before, but boy, would I love a pizzeria next door to my house. That would be awesome. Alrighty, let's dig in. We've got the instructions on where to put the stickers. Looks like this door, this window opens or something. And again, some more instructions, which we'll come back to later in the video. Will be later. This looks like it is the brick oven, and this looks like it's the counter. Maybe later. I'm sure we'll find out. And let's see what we have in here. Wow, look at that. Some furniture, and I think the windows. All right. Just gonna open up some of this stuff for you guys to take a look at. Actually, I'm gonna move this over here and I'll. These look like they're just the windows. All you do is just twist these out. They're super easy to take off. Look at that. Voila. Okay. 
I've got the cute little square table with the two little stools. How cute is that? Scalloped edging all the way around, super cute. These, I'm not sure what they are yet. Actually, they look like some type of fencing or whatnot. This looks like a pizza paddle. I've heard people call it a pizza peel as well. Um, I really don't know which one it really is, what the proper name is for it. Um, I've always thought of it as a pizza paddle. Some people call it pizza peel, I've heard. Um, let me know if you know what it's really called or if it's called somewhere in one country and somewhere in another country. I don't know. This, I think, goes to the counter. Um, I'm just going to take a wild guess. Let's just see. is these look like pizza stones and a pizza or a, a roller a dough dough roller these are a lot of goodies hang tight I'm opening up the next oh, actually it didn't even need to be there was not too but it looks like we've got dough that has been rolled out. A tomato pizza, I'm gonna say. Um, with maybe some basil in the middle. Same pizza, with, except in the process of being eaten or a piece taken out. I'm not sure what kind of pizza this is. Um, it kind of looks like spaghetti pizza to <laughs> me, to be honest, or some type of pasta pizza. Um, if you guys know, let us know. We want to know. This is the same pizza, except with the two pieces cut out already. That way you can portion them out. I'm not sure what this is yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. This is a cheese grater. Can you see that? I'm sure your parents have one of these at home that they use. I know you guys know what this one is. Pizza cutter. A block of cheese. This is what you do with these. Um, again, I'm sure you see this at home. Right? Something to that effect. And this is like a grinder for seasoning, usually like pepper, salt. And I was just informed that the cheese goes on this plate or tray, so it usually drops out the inside and goes onto that plate, okay. Let's see. Now we've got the stickers, and a little book. I like these little books. <laughs> Looks like everybody's enjoying the pizzeria. Okay. So, let's set this baby up. 
what we'll do here is uh, we'll go ahead and set this up. There we go. Then there's these two fencing pieces that I was telling you guys about. I think they just pop in here. When it doesn't work on one side, just try the other side. Sometimes things work funny like that. And uh, let's set up the windows, guys. So there's th there's four of them. Three of them are smaller than the other, and the other one's pretty big. And if you look at these windows, three of them are the same size, and one of them is bigger. So let's go with the bigger one for the bigger window. Let's see, how do you put this in? Oh, okay, super easy. There's the other one. But oh, you have to get that little. So, if you look at it, there's this little like lip here. Can you see that? Oh, there it is. I think I see it there. You have to put that in first before you put the the rest of the window in. Now I believe this set is only available in Japan right now. Um, we hope that it comes to the state soon because I know that you guys would really enjoy it like I know that we are. Let's see. I'm not sure which one goes on there, so I'm just going to kind of measure them out. And I'm going to look at the sizing. That one looks like it would be a little bit too big. So I'm going to go with this one. Hopefully this is it. Let me take another look at it. I'm also going to look inside. There's another one that goes in here. And that is smaller, obviously. So, that looks like it would be that size. So, yep, I'm going to go with the longer one in the front. is a better fit okay we have that and then we are gonna do the village pizzeria sign um, it looks like the smaller one goes up front or out front these things are always so tricky And if you don't get them on like right the first time, it's nearly impossible to take them off and replace them. Um, so you gotta be very, very careful with that. This one I'm, is the biggest one here. I'm gonna chance it, because it looks like it's about the same size. Uh, I'm gonna start around here. Good. Worked out 
pretty good. And um, we have this on the side. And we're gonna put the welcome everyone to Village Pizzeria. That looks great. Now this one I'm gonna have to gauge too. I think it goes here. Get inside. Looks like everything outside we've already done. Um, inside, let's see. They want the big village pizzeria sign up there. Up here, actually. So we'll start with that one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, but you didn't miss anything. And let's see. I'm trying to figure out where they want some of these other other signs. I'll have to take a look at it a little bit further. This one here. Wow, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna put some of these stickers on the inside. a look to see where these items go. Um, the pizza menu. Let's see. Because I don't see any books here. Okay, so the welcome. Alright. I see this one. The welcome is actually a, a welcome mat, like a doormat. So, it goes here. That's pretty cool. Mm, it's a little crooked, but... The Village Pizzeria um, mat. It goes here and it faces, I guess it goes upside down, it faces um, this way. So at least that's what the box is showing us. And these are the toppings actually. So they want number 13 here. And you don't have to put it exactly in that order. You can put it in whatever order you want. That looks like, I don't even know what that is. That's 
then. Okay, we're going. And I think it's time for me to get some glasses. Oh, okay. Also, oh, this is basil then. Okay, so what my daughter just pointed out is uh, they actually show the toppings here. Cheese, tomato, shrimp, and basil. Right? Even here as well. Cheese, tomato. So that's what that is. That's shrimp. And uh, it's really hard to tell. Well, at least for me it is. Um, but I'm, you know, a little older than you guys. So you guys probably have better eyes. Yep, these are the mushrooms. And we just slide it into there. Perfect. And here are the tomatoes. So basically, you go up to the counter and you tell them what you want. You tell them what toppings you want. Let's see. It looks like they have the brick oven up in this corner. Oops, they have this like that. Oh, actually. Oh, that's when they have the old. That's when they have the whole thing open. Um, we have it reversed, but let's let's change it. You wanna change it? And set it up that way. That's what it looks like. Looks like they set. Looks like they set that back. Yep. So it stays the same way. See, now you got more space here. You put these. Oh, sorry, this goes that way. Okay. These go here. Okay. There we go, right? And it looks like they have the table here. I'm going off of this picture, guys, just in case you're wondering what do you mean? It looks like they. That's what I mean. I mean, over here, they, that's the way they have it set up. Of course, you, again, you don't have to set it up that way. You set it up exactly how you like it. Um, I just like to show you guys how they have it and then, you know, do whatever you want after that. So, seven looks like, if you look here, seven looks like it goes right inside the doorway, um, which would be right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's put that there. I'm sorry. I know I keep moving this stuff, but I just want you guys to see this. All right, when you get your pizzeria one day, it'll be a little bit easier for you guys because you've already seen how it goes. Now we have these menus here. So it's one menu, and what you do is you fold it in half, then you fold it again. It's a pizza menu. It's a little bit hard because it's all sticky, like, you know, but fine and you can always make your own menu too. And actually we forgot one sticker. And this one goes looks like it goes I thought it was here. Yeah it does. It just goes here. Sorry guys, this thing is super duper tiny. Or like super duper skinny. That looks good. So, here's an idea of what it looks like. You've got your menu here. Here are your pizza stones. 
which would be in here. Your pizza paddle, that's what they use to take the, the hot stone in and out because if you touch this stone with your bare hands, um, it, you would burn yourself pretty bad. Um, so they use this like paddle to put it in and to take it out. And it looks like you can put this paddle here. Um, I'm not 100%, but I mean, it looks like something goes here. Let's see. Maybe it goes higher up. Yeah. Okay, you see that, guys? So the paddle goes there. can put the pizzas out here, or one can go in here. In the scene, they have uh, the critter rolling out the dough, then probably asking what toppings. Actually, let's put this one here. We'll put the grater there. half-eaten pizza. We'll just put this here. The pizza doesn't usually go on the floor, but we're just gonna put it here. Or maybe we'll put it... I kinda wish they had plates for this one. But we have plates, you know, from other scenes that we can use. Um, this would be to cut the pizza after, the pizza cutter, and seasoning. That on the table. That way, people can eat uh, their pizza to their liking. And that looks pretty good. Really, really nice. We're gonna put a couple of. Uh, I'll put a critter here, so you can see. You want to put a couple critters eating as well. We're grabbing a, a couple more critters. Here with us. I just want you guys to see what it looks like all set up. We cannot wait to play with this one. We're so glad um, we finally did the unboxing because we don't get to play with our toys until we do the unboxing. Um, so we have to wait um, just because we like sharing all this with you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are super excited about uh, Calico Critters and their play sets and whatnot. Um, so we just want to share that with you guys. We really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a number, whatever number you choose from 0 to 250. Leave it in the comments. Um, take your best guess. Um, one entry per person um, but you can have friends subscribe and enter um, maybe your mom and dad they can enter they, by subscribing and leaving a uh, a number as well but you have to be subscribed okay guys um, please um, also we will be doing the giveaway um, Saturday. Um, we're gonna try for early morning. Oops, um, I'm not positive on the time, but um, it will be by the end of the day for sure, Saturday. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Remember, zero to 250. And then uh, after a winner is chosen, we will contact you um, for a mailing address um, to where we can send your gift, your surprise gift. We're super, super, super excited about that. Um, make sure that your mom and dad know we don't want you giving out your mailing address um, without your parents knowing. Um, and they are more than welcome to talk to us or whatnot. Um, about it before um, we don't we do not want you guys uh, sending out your mailing address without your parents knowing you always have to let your parents know before 
you do anything like that, okay? Um, especially that we are basically strangers, okay? You don't give out personal information like that. So please, please, please um, tell your parents before you do enter and definitely before you give out an address, okay? Um, we'll, we'll be checking things out to see if you guys are leaving any numbers. Um, we wish you luck. We can't wait to do the giveaway. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, actually. We'll talk to you guys Saturday. All right. Good luck. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe. All right. Bye-bye.